Good morning, boys and girls. Well, it's lovely to see you all. This morning, it's the 11th of November, and as a school family, we are going to remember all those who gave their lives in the service of their country. Now, as a large school, there are many, many names that we need to remember. And in doing my research, I found there's many more than the ones we actually knew about in last year, or when we celebrated the centenary of the end of the First World War in 1918. So very fortunately for me, the parish church have produced a document which you can find on their website, and I'll show it you again in just a moment, uh, which records those who are remembered on the parish church war memorial, Ashton Gardens war memorial, and also in the graveyard at St Anne's. And you will have seen there are clusters of poppies on each of the graves because um, it's a, a War Graves Commission um, churchyard, St Anne's Parish, and be able to see those who are remembered. But today, a very special day, a sad day, but also a day to stand with pride and remember that those Hay Houses children grew up to be people who gave the best they could for the sake of their families, the rest of the country, and for many of them, they gave their lives which is an incredibly brave thing and something which we must remember. Because in remembering, we also remember the suffering of war and the great pity there is that solutions can't be found that are peaceful because we were called to live in peace. Jesus said that he brought the peace which passes all understanding and war has no place in a Christian world or in a world where we all can live together regardless of our faith, regardless of the colour of our skin, where differences can be respected. So that's why it is so important we remember today for many, many reasons. And younger ones in reception in year one and year two, you'll be thinking about people in your families. Hopefully junior children, you will too, but you'll also be thinking a little bit more about it and thinking what it means for our country and for our world and the sort of person you're going to grow up to be and how you are going to deal with things as an adult and that hopefully to find a solution that doesn't resort to war. We've done very well in the last few years for there to be other solutions. So I want to share with you today, just going to put the screen on and I just want to share with you some thoughts about some of the people who came to our school and share with you some of their pictures and for us as a Hay Houses family to remember with pride. When this short act of worship is over, I would call upon all of you to remember and stand in silence here at Hay Houses. Can't do it as we normally do all together as a school family, but in your classes you can do, either inside or outside on the playground, to just stand and remember. There are many, many people who came to Hay Houses who have served their country. We know the names of some of them, and I've got some pictures here of some of the people who served and gave their lives. They're very old, faded photographs. We've tried to find, and we have found, some more up-to-date ones, which we're going to put with each of the soldiers that we have. Um, we have statues, which we've had in the main entrance hall for the last 12 months and those are going to be engraved, but we actually need more because we have found more Hay Houses pupils who served in both wars. So it's William Ball, William Henry Collingwood Barton, Richard Eastham, Robert Gillett, Robert Greaves, James Harrison, Robert Harrison, Jack Hornby, Harry Howarth, Paul Jones, William Pearson, John Richardson, Oliver Richardson. Now those are just some of the names of those ex-pupils of our school who served in the First World War. You'll notice some with the same name. Sometimes in some families, nobody came home. And that's the true pity of war, the suffering and the painfulness for those who came back but were seriously injured. 
It's very hard for young children nowadays to know, but I'm so proud of Hay House's children of 2020 because you have been finding out. And I know that year five, this is just one class, you've sent me some pictures, you've created your own poppies. They're absolutely beautiful. And the respect with which you're holding those and you're thinking about those who gave their lives in war, that shows me that the next generation, there is hope that instead of war, we will find peaceful solutions. And that instead of people being allowed to become bigoted and take on extremist views, which is what happened with Hitler's Germany, which is what happened with um, Stalinist regimes, where there were concentration camps in both, both of those, and where there was huge numbers of death and dying, it was, it was um, atrocious. And that we will find other ways in the future to sort problems, to sort differences, and that we can learn to respect those differences. So thank you, Year 5. Those are absolutely gorgeous. And I also know that Year 2, you have been painting poppies and you've varnished them and you've had some help with putting on our school website address you can see there. And I know that Year 2 are taking these poppies these poppy pebbles out into our community and you can go and look for them and if you go on our website it leads to our website and on our website anybody who finds them can click and every child has remembered somebody with their poppy pebble and that's lovely because as we discovered yesterday so many Hay Houses children have so many people that they are remembering and remembering with pride and I think that is so important and Got some more pictures of the children. It's lovely to see your smiling faces with your poppies. And I know that all the classes have had their pictures taken because that's what we want to do. We want to remember. And on this Remembrance Day 2020, when we have been living with a world situation just as children in the First World War and children in the Second World War and adults in both those world wars lived with a world situation. We're living with a different one. We're fighting something very different. But maybe this year we can understand a little bit more about how hard it is to be separated from loved ones and how hard it is when something is worrying and makes us anxious and when we're concerned about our health and all those things that we have faced this year Maybe it just gives us a little understanding of what it was for those who lived through a time of war. And I do know it is hard for children to understand and to think, well, it's history, it's a long time ago. But if we forget, then maybe we'll stop remembering how hard it is for people who serve in war and the awful scenes they see that never leave them and the awful suffering they have. So on this Remembrance Day, we need to remember and say thank you for all those who gave their lives. We need to remember and say sorry for the misunderstandings that happened that led to war. And we must ask for forgiveness for all the dreadful things that happened in the name of different countries across the world but in the interests of war. And we must also stand and pray that there will be peace in our world and that there will be an end to suffering and war. But we must remember all those who were so young and who gave their lives. And while we can't stand in Ashton Gardens and look at the names on the war memorial, we can stand in our school and remember all Hay House's pupils, all family members who we have known and loved, who are now at rest in heaven. And we can remember them with pride for their service and their sacrifice. When I've read this poem, boys and girls, it's one verse of a beautiful poem. Perhaps you can look it up in your classes. When I've read this poem, you repeat the last line, we will remember them. And then you can either file outside if it's fine and stand, or you can say, hold your remembrances in class.
So if you focus on those in your families who you know have served, they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Thank you boys and girls, see you very soon.